Well, not far from Fiserv Forum, crowds of people packed bars and clubs to watch the game on Water Street with a heightened police presence tonight. Fox 6's Hannah Jewell joins us live. Hannah, business owners, they've been asking for help here. They have, and law enforcement listened to that request, and you can see now there are crowds of people out here, but there is also a heavy law enforcement presence here to make sure nothing goes wrong tonight. I hope no uh, crazy violence going on right here. Reckless driving, crowds, violence, and a shooting last weekend. This is one of the busiest spots in the city at night on the weekends. They are just some of the reasons Water Street business owners are on edge, but also optimistic as law enforcement is increasing its presence in the Water Street district this weekend. But it's been getting better, you know, with the, with the police and, you know, private security that are walking around. So it's getting better. For me, all the other vendors that are on Water Street, it's been going real well. As several thousand come to pack the bars, clubs and streets, police patrols on foot, bike, horse and car, keeping crowds controlled and safe during the Bucks game two of the conference finals. There's been some violence uh, the past few weeks, uh, hence why there's more police now. Milwaukee police asking for fans to enjoy safely, saying in a statement, MPD shares the excitement that comes with playoff basketball. However, criminal activity will not be tolerated. It's actually been going real well. Uh, you know, hometown crowd, they like to come out and support. Law enforcement also warning there will be ticketing and there will be there will be towing of any vehicles parked in the wrong places. This is just one technique they're using to hopefully cut back on crime. Again, everyone here so far so good, having a great time, excited about this Bucks lead. We'll keep you posted on the next hour on how things are going here. For now, reporting live on Water Street, Hannah Jewell, Fox 6 News. Sounds good. Let's hope it stays safe tonight. Hannah, thanks.